So today we're going to be talking about release predictions because every time someone predicts when Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to release, of course, we always get to see these people in the comment sections on the videos or in threads pretty much going batshit insane about how impossible it is for Kingdom Hearts to release on X you know, in X season or in X years. So let's say someone said winter season 2017. Someone would always be going batshit fucking insane and you would have other people sitting there talking about how they're right. It's not going to release until, you know, sometime far off into the future. And I don't understand where all of these, you know, all of these thoughts are really coming from because Kingdom Hearts 3 if Kingdom Hearts 3 was as far back as 2018, we wouldn't have seen Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3 till this year. And I'm just going to say that right off the bat. What game do we know? Well, there are games that do this, but this is like when that's when like companies are going through trouble. That's not the case with Kingdom Hearts 3. We know for a fact Kingdom Hearts 3 is one moving very fast in development. It hasn't slowed down and no other project that freaking Square Enix is working on is hindering Kingdom Hearts 3. So all of those people that keep on saying Final Fantasy 15 has priority over Kingdom Hearts 3, that was back in 2014. That's done now. There is no more hindering Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is moving smooth. It's probably even moving faster than, of course, Tetsuya Nomura can even keep up because sometimes he does seem like, you know, he's really just making a statement just so that that way something can be put out there. But it does seem like Kingdom Hearts 3 is moving relatively fast. And I'm going to get into other stuff too that kind of hint at how fast this game is being developed as well in this video. So I don't know where these ideas that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to take this huge amount of time, this ridiculous amount of time, when most Kingdom Hearts games really off the top of my head from what I can remember has literally taken only three years to develop the first two numeric entries have taken was three years apart right so Kingdom Hearts 1 was released in 2002 in Japan and Kingdom Hearts 2 was released in 2000 in Japan if I'm not mistaken so that's a three-year difference so going from 2013 to 2017 that's four years but that's not even what's important because Seeing as people always like to talk about how Tetsuya Nomura mentioned that, oh, the game was announced too early, or, oh, you know, the game hasn't really been moving along really quickly, what people have to take into consideration here is this, and this is what's highly important. Disney and Square Enix's Osaka team has been growing ever since 2014. This team has been literally getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. There hasn't been a year that has passed since 2013 that there hasn't been notes out there for someone to actually get a job working with Square Enix on this amazing entry into the Kingdom Hearts series. So, for instance, we even have one that's open right now. And the one that's open right now is talking about post-production. Post-freaking-production. This means that, of course, the game may not exactly be finished, but as far as, like, the worlds being built and stuff like that, the shadowing and stuff like that, like how swords and stuff, or how the um, Heartless's shadows will be reflected onto the surface of the ground from, like, you know, their positioning to the positioning of the source of light, which will usually be represented by the the fake sun and stuff that's surrounding these worlds and things like that so or light and stuff that's coming out for let's say worlds that's covered in darkness and things like that so any source of light that reflects towards these characters is actually going to cast a shadow right so they're already working on stuff like this why would they be working on stuff like this if not every world is finished it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense in no way does it make sense seeing as of course the unreal 4 is already built from of course some of the things that we've seen to make these type of things easier that's why they moved to the unreal 4 engine so that that way they can produce stuff like this a lot more faster if you remember the dude that was invited or the dude that was brought onto the team to actually develop the ai and you know the enemies He's probably done with his job already, and we can say this because of 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is using assets from Kingdom Hearts 3. Do you honestly believe they went ahead and developed specific AI for Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2? Now, I know that 0 0.2 is going to feature different enemies. In, For instance, of course, let's say the enemies that actually absorb the fire. Those enemies are in Kingdom Hearts 3, believe it or not. They're the enemies that emerged in the E3 2015 trailer that were pretty much water versions of these enemies fire version so you see what I'm saying these enemies are taken from Kingdom Hearts 3 so that dude may already be done or he's probably putting in the finishing touches now 
And we also have last year about the mass production of other elements and stuff like that. And we know that he wasn't mentioning worlds when it came to mass production because these worlds were already decided. These worlds were already, I think, structured. In fact, Tessie Nomura confirmed this year that he's played a world. And from my knowledge, and I've been looking up game development for a long time, I'm not a developer myself, so I can't really say. But the last time or... The very few times I've heard of directors actually playing their own games, although I'm sure all of them do, the few times that we've actually heard of developers playing the game themselves was when the game was getting relatively close to being announced at least, at the least, for a release window. And if Tessie Nomura is playing th through his game, then this would mean that probably most of the stuff is being finished. Because why would he take so much time, seeing as, of course, these worlds are going to take longer than Kingdom Hearts 2 worlds, which Kingdom Hearts 2 worlds, on average, can take you, like, an hour, especially if you, like, aren't leveled up enough. So let's say this dude actually started like at a certain level and stuff like that or maybe he had them make Sora or put Sora even into god mode for this playthrough right so he can't die now and he said it still took him a significant amount of time to finish the world so if it still took him a significant amount of time to finish this world then we know that Kingdom Hearts 3 worlds are supposed to be big and if there's more work to be done more stuff that needs to be complete why is he taking out time to actually play through a world unless he tests the world himself just to make sure that it's up to snuff with his expectations which would make sense seeing as he's the director I don't see why Tessie Nomura would be taking more than an hour out of precious work time to finish this game just to play through a world I don't understand maybe when the game probably had every world finished I could see him probably playing through every world to see if it met his expectations before they actually move into the final stages of development but to play through a simple world and actually you know not be done with the game or not even be close or even have a release window out so that that way we know that this game is around the corner of course Tetsuya Nomura is already playing through worlds and that just doesn't seem like it would make sense to me and it shouldn't make sense to you guys either seeing as of course we don't even have a release window yet now another thing we need to take into consideration about people who say this 2017 release is likely is that they have one thing that's highly in their corner but over everything including statements about Kingdom Hearts 3 and that's that we have dedicated announcements this winter now dedicated announcements this winter is important because Taya Sue has actually confirmed that at E3 they wanted to focus on 2.8 so if they wanted to focus on 2.8 then of course this would mean that Kingdom Hearts 3 had to be pushed back now why would they do this Kingdom Hearts 3 is literally the biggest Kingdom Hearts thing right now if you ask any Anyone, what are they waiting on? Some people are even still talking about how they're going to pass up 2.8 because it's not Kingdom Hearts 3, right? So if they wanted to focus on 2.8 and really get 2.8 out there and shown off, then this would mean that they tried to use the E3 season, the biggest stage for video games, to really promote this game so that that way they can get sales on this game. And I'm guessing these sales may generate even more speed for development for Kingdom Hearts 3, meaning they can dedicate more resources and money from this little project to Kingdom Hearts 3. So right off the bat, we know that, of course, 2.8 was being focused on. So 2.8 was being focused on. This means that more than likely, these winter Kingdom Hearts 3 announcements are going to be big. And the reason why I say they're going to be big is because Tayasue kind of hinted at it himself. When he was in an interview with, I believe, PlayStation Access UK, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's PlayStation Access UK. They asked him about 2.8's release, and he said it's going to be coming this December. Now, he also said, and this could be me probably just thinking about it too much, but he did also mention Kingdom Hearts 3, and that we'll hear stuff about that. Like, that's his exact words. We'll hear stuff about that this winter so if they brought up the question of 2.8's release and stuff like that and he said oh it's going to be coming in december in kingdom hearts 3 you'll hear stuff about that so he said you'll hear stuff about that this winter so is he tying in that the release information of course for 2.8 is he like tying that sentence together in the sense that he's saying oh well 2.8 releases this winter and if you want to know more about kingdom hearts 3's release you know this is really hypothetical so don't take that for like you know fact but it this could be hypothetical i mean this is hypothetical so what if he's saying that of course kingdom hearts 2.8 is releasing this winter and of course you'll hear stuff about kingdom hearts 3's release 
this winter as well. So, you see what I'm saying? It's like, if they had put Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3 and announced a release window, it would have been done. It would have been done. 2.8 would have gotten no hype. The only thing 2.8 would have probably gotten hype for is that it's going to come before Kingdom Hearts 3. And that still wouldn't have brought it enough hype because Twitter would have been talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. Everyone would have seen that Kingdom Hearts 3 is releasing next year. People would have been worried about Kingdom Hearts 3 more than zero point, I mean more than 2.8, which is going to be bringing Dream Drop Distance HD 0.2 and Back Cover. Things that a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans need to know. Those two games, 0.2 and Back Cover. I mean, that movie and that game, 0.2 and Back Cover, are going to tie into Kingdom Hearts 3 directly, whereas Dream Drop Distance is sort of like a prequel. So we know that that's why they wanted to focus on 2.8, because 3 and it being shown off, and if we potentially see the release window this winter, or of course, let's say we would have saw it at E3 this year, and of course, it would have had the release window on there, Kingdom Hearts 3 would have bloomed 2.8 out of the water. Like, no one would have cared about 2.8 anymore, because everyone would have been focusing on Kingdom Hearts 3. But if they announce these things before, of course, or they release it before they give us the information on Kingdom Hearts 3, then they already got our money, because people are going to buy 2.8, and 2.8 is supposed to be a hold off until Kingdom Hearts 3 so that means it's not going to take too much longer after 2.8 release I don't understand why people don't get this stuff but that's just my personal thoughts on this let me know what you guys feel about it when do you believe Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to release that's the question of the day man when do you think it's going to release because 2017 is my year now I used to think that 2016 was the year back in 20. 14 to through 2015 religiously i believe 2016 was the year because of course most kingdom hearts games take three years apart but it didn't that's not the case and seeing as that's not the case then of course i believe 2017 is definitely the year for everyone who says the game is going to be too big i'm going to be honest with you kingdom hearts 3 may only feature like 15 worlds we already know what eight of those worlds are so the other seven is really just up to you and what you think your own predictions of what these worlds are going to be but we already know what eight of these worlds are honestly so you can take a guess on what you think these eight are or i may leave it in of course the description what the eight worlds are and of course everyone just have a nice day man enjoy your little kingdom hearts 3 predictions man you're not doing anything wrong i mean you you aren't stating that of course you are an official source right so as long as you're not doing that as long as you're not making a complete thread talking about oh i'm a someone who used to work at square enix america and stuff like that you know if you're not trying to act like you're stating official information then i don't see why people even have a problem with these predictions but there's people who will call you an asshole a bitch retarded you know you you, you, you be being fucking ridiculous you're speaking out of your ass and shit they just get all vulgar and all upset and salty about some fucking predictions man so let me know what you guys think about kingdom hearts 3 i'll catch you guys on the flip side this is being boy monster you don't forget to do a little a class gaming and everything you do don't forget to keep it a class and i'll catch you guys in the next one man peace the heck out <laughs>